In the previous video, the HS402 oscilloscope was connected with a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable. Now I will use the optional Wi-Fi module, which allows me to take measurements without wires. You can just buy a separate ESP32 module. But I had a development board, so I had to desolder the module first with a hot air gun. The ESP32 Wi-Fi board have two power supply options. So you can use widespread AMS1117 for 5 volts input voltage or RT9193 for 3.7 volts battery supply. The full components list you can find in portable file document. The two layer printed circuit board available for download from GitHub page. The last version is 3.1, but I have 3.0 version. So now we need second Wi-Fi module board part. Another way to attach ESP32 to the main board is to use additional adapter and development board. Position and solder the module carefully and accurately. Do not allow pin shot or displacement. Tantalum capacitors could be found on circuits board from old electronics devices. Pay attention that RGB LED could be with common anode or common cathode. You can find out your LED type by the multimeter. There are two ways to connect Wi-Fi board to the main board. I use ordinary PLS. 2.54 pins. The firmware file you can download on GitHub page. You need all three files. Download and install flash download tool from official site. For flashing ESP you need USB COM serial converter. I use the module based on CH340 chip, so the drivers on Windows 10 must be installed manually. Now connect USB COM converter and ESP32 board according to the wire diagram. Before powering connection to the PC, press flash button and then connect wired module with converter to the USB port. In the software choose sequentially three files bootloader.bin, partition table.bin, ESP32 firmware.bin, Note that consistency is important, then type addresses as shown on the screen. Set SPI frequency 80 MHz, mark do not change and press start. Wait some time for successful flashing, the RGB LED should glow. Now connect two boards and power up the oscilloscope by the USB or external supply 5 volts or battery if you use appropriate regulators. On the PC or smartphone, open Wi-Fi settings and find HS402 hotspot. Press on it and type default password 123456789. After successful connection, open browser and go to that IP address. Here you can see MCU name, firmware version and battery voltage. In the network settings choose access point, type any SSID name, change password if you need, leave default IP and set least loaded channel, can be left by default. That's all. After disconnection from PC, connect oscilloscope to the phone by default password if you don't change it or with a new one. Download and install HScope application from Google Play or Huawei App Gallery. Open settings and in the oscilloscope tab turn on Wi-Fi and wait for info. Return to the main activity and now it should work wirelessly. The easiest testing could be done without additional signal source, so in the application press on the blue cube, choose PW.
PWM and connect channels input to the rectangular PWM hole. The pulse width and frequency is adjustable. In the digital electronics, one of the common operations is level shifting. Hex buffer CD4050 can help convert 3.3 volts to 5 volts logic level. With two channels, input and output can be monitored simultaneously. So, you can see the same signal but with different amplitudes. The last one test is catching transmitted by the serial communication protocol data. As you might know, in the idle state the signal is high, so choose single for only first packet record and set falling edge trigger. When data is transmitted you can check signal and even decode it with the additional module. But for work like this I recommend to use logic analyzer. It's more convenient and has much more protocols to decoding. The most important part of the wireless devices, including oscilloscope, is response rate. The signal must be displayed in real time and as quickly as possible. As you can see, the time between electrical connection and signal displaying is pretty small, but in general not instant.